Hi, it's Dr. Logini. Today I'll be talking about tailbone injuries and how to take care of it and more at the physical level. And I'm going to be a little bit kind of relating it also at the spiritual level. So first of all, when you do have a tailbone injury, like when you fall on your bum, um, or even if like, you know, you lift something and then all of a sudden you have this tailbone pain or sacral pain, um, especially if you sprain it from some form of an injury. So there's different ways to take care of it, okay? Definitely you wanna apply ice, you wanna rule out if there's no fracture, if you don't have, like, especially if you have a direct impact on it. But the second thing, you wanna make sure you go see a chiropractor right away and um, a KSC chiropractor or someone who uses a more gentle technique or um, some, someone who works around um, the pelvic area. So you definitely want to address that to make sure that you're not messing up anything else. Because what happens when you have a tail, an impact on your tailbone, your pelvis is going to shift and your sacrum is going to shift as well. So you want to make sure you address every other aspect. So make sure that everything gets back into alignment so your tailbone heals much faster. Okay. And um, so there's different chiropractors. There's so many different chiropractors out there. You have to call the clinic and ask them if they do work with tailbone injuries. And um, I do work with a lot of those cases. But if, if you're not in the same area, like if you're not in Canada, Ontario, you can definitely find someone in your area. Second thing is with tailbone injury, there's always a spiritual connection, okay? Stability, because it is your root chakra. Root chakra is like your foundation. It's like a tree that, that has strong roots. So a tailbone injury typically is a sign that you need to start to build your foundation to strengthen your roots. And most of us, most humans, um, we run with our mind. We're not grounded, we're constantly thinking, and which causes the energy to be more here instead of flowing down into the tailbone. So imagine if you have this impact on your tailbone, what happens is it's kind of a shock to your system and it brings awareness to your mind that to focus down there as well. Okay, so what do I mean by focus down there? So pain is, a, is actually, there's a benefit of having pain. Pain brings awareness. Right? So imagine you hit your finger somewhere and all of a sudden you feel pain there. Now your mind is focused to that pain. Same thing with the tailbone injury or any form of sprain strain in that region kind of wakes you up and brings you back into awareness. It's like a little slap or a little shock to the system. Okay, and um, but if you're already aware ahead of time, you become more conscious, so you're not running in your head, but your energy is it's combining with your mind and with your body. So you kind of interact, allowing both of the energies to interact, right? So first of all, you want to make sure you rehab your spine, you take care of your tailbone and your spine, but the, on the other end, you want to make sure that you take care of your energy. So you consciously activate the root chakra, in your sacral chakra so kind of allowing yourself so it's through breath work you bring your breath all the way down into the root and it's like a slow breath work if you want to know more details about this you can actually buy my, uh, my course online and in there I'm showing you how to do it right so it's breathing all the way down and activating the root chakra it is it's more conscious slow work there is no rush into this process it takes time to get that root chakra activated okay and through that activation what will happen is think like your tree with that strong roots the roots are getting stronger and stronger into the ground so now you're more stabilized more in a different level the foundation is now coming from your mind because you're not um, basically anchored through your mind through your mind which is the control system but through your energy system, which is way more stronger and way more powerful. So what will happen is once you become that rooted, even if there's external factors that will blow here and there, you're not able to come off from that ground. You're strongly rooted. Okay. So what I mean by um, blown off is in terms of like emotions, right? If you do have 
um, negative, you're experiencing a negative emotion, you're really quick at bringing yourself back into balance. Okay, so it's very important to activate that even when you do your rehab for your root, uh, for your tailbone. So if you're one of those who keeps injuring your tailbone, definitely you need to start really activating your root chakra, be aware and uh, maybe get some guidance if you don't know how to do this. And I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you go into my website, you can check into that and you can book online to do a one-on-one -on -one session. So thank you for watching. I'll see you back on the next video.